Hey everyone, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here. Uh, you can see we have a quite the beautiful view out our back window here in our summer home on Vancouver Island. We stay at this RV park every year right on this estuary. Uh, one of the problems though is this spot faces towards the southwest so every day as it starts to hit early afternoon and evening um, I start to get the sun coming through the back window so that can really be a problem when I'm working on my computer but a bigger issue is it starts to get uh, really hot in the rig just like a greenhouse effect um, what I've been doing is I've been putting in sort of a, a foil reflectives foil I have a piece cut for that window just like on the door here and that blocks out the, the light and reduces the the heating of the rig quite a bit. The air conditioner works a lot less. My problem is I, I lose this beautiful view. Um, so I was looking what could I do to uh, solve that. I was thinking about maybe putting a tarp on the outside or an awning but I was thinking what am I going to do about wind and uh, how was I going to mount it to the rig. And just lucky enough a company called uh, Easy Snap contacted me a few weeks ago about uh, doing a review on their window shades. So here's the roll they sent me. They sent me a big enough roll to do that back window there. They're called uh, Easy Snap. So you can see they're a web address, easysnapdirect.com. So they sent this out to me, no charge. I believe enough to cover that window. I think I got enough that usually goes for about 139. You can go to their website and check out the different pricing. Anyway, what intrigued me about this is rather than some of the external shades I've seen um, where you have to drill holes or mounting screws, these use uh, 3M to stick on these little plastic uh, studs. Um, they use a very high bond type 3M. I've seen people stick solar panels on with the same stuff. So what you do is you put that all around your window and then you put on use a little stud and you clip that on there, it clips onto that so it'll snap then that will stick through the the mesh material here and then there's a cap that goes onto that and uh, squeezes it in place um, then if you do need to uh, remove the screen, say you're moving and you don't want to drive with the stuff on or you need to clean something, need a little tool here to pop them off so it sounds like it's pretty easy to pop off. Um, included in the kit also was a little white pencil so you have to you know cut it to the right size. So this mesh what it's going to do is allow the view to come through but block out the heat also give us privacy people can't see in but we can see out. It's kind of like they call it a a thermal polymer. Anyway, you can cut it and it won't uh, fray at all, so it'll stay together, which is pretty cool. Anyway, today's video I'm going to do the install of that and maybe I'll come back in a few weeks with my review. So let's get to it. Let's see what kind of tools we need here. Okay, so I went through the little instruction booklet and really there's not much required at all. I did have to go out and get some uh, lysopropic rubbing alcohol so that the surface is really clean before I mount the little uh, doodads there that hold the hold the caps in place. Um, you also want like a good straight edge so when you mark out and cut the screen and then something like these are a really good sharp pair of scissors or you can use a a utility knife, some real good straight edge on that. So, really not much required as far as tools to mount it. Um, the most important thing is surface prep, as with any type of that 3M tape or any type of stuff you're sticking on. The, the cleaner the surface, the better. Um, so, what I'm going to do on mine, I'll, let me go out. I've already mounted them, but I'll I'll show you uh, what I did to clean that up before I I put them on. Okay, so I've got all my uh, studs on there, and what I did, 
first is I took uh, my normal car wash and washed the, the back wall of the rig really good. Then I took some uh, simple green and went around with a rag and went right around the window and scrubbed off uh, any, any dirt or kind of trying to get all the old wax off. Because the simple green will kind of strip off any old wax that might be sitting around. And then I did as they suggested with the isopropic alcohol and uh, did a good clean with that. So then I could stick on these uh, easy snap units. And they say you want about 15 pounds of force when you put them on, so I'm not, not sure exactly what 15 pounds of force is, but I gave them, pressed really hard on them. Um, they also say it's a good idea to, to place them between 10 inches and 5 inches. I elected to go with five inches or so between each of each of them because being here on the coast we get a lot of wind especially when we go down south in the desert the winds can really whip up so I want that thing to be quite secured on there so it doesn't blow away Also on the corners here, I did sort of an L, and so we got three quite close together on each of the corners. Give it a little more strength at that uh, key location. So next trick is to uh, cut a nice square so that I can uh, place it over there and start putting the, the caps on. Okay, measure twice, cut once. So I'm looking at about, about 45, 45 by 78. I want just a little bit past all those uh, studs there. So I've got our lay on the floor here. Mark it out on a flat surface with that uh, white uh, grease pencil they gave me. Now I just need to uh, Slowly try to make a nice straight cut on that. Better hurry up too. It's starting to heat up in here with all that sun coming in. Should be a good test pretty soon if I get that on there. Not too bad, not too bad. What do you think, Angelina? Pretty good, eh? Yeah, you suck. She's not happy because it you can't eat this stuff. So that's the one way. Shaved off eight inches. It came. It was 86 inches uh, roll. I guess they come in seven by six inch rolls. Maybe a few extra inches. Now I just have to do my other cut the other way and get it down to 45, 45 by 78. So this stuff cuts really easy. All you really have to do is kind of direct the scissors into the cut. You know, like that, zing along. Okay, got her cut out. Now I'm just gonna have to go along and uh, put in these little uh, pegs in here. Snap them on all to all the studs there. And I'll be able to start hanging my material. There we go. Got all the little pegs on there. Um, also, I was going to mention about the, th the, th the 3M very high bond uh, sticker there. Um, it says to uh, that it'll cure within an hour to 50% strength um, 60 minutes is 75 percent strength and 24 hours is 90 percent um, and three days for 100 percent strength so I, I did this yesterday put all those little stick on things on and let it set 24 hours it also says it would like it to be uh, 70 degrees or higher so it's summer now we're getting pretty good warmth here just thought I'd mention that so you don't put her on right away and they fall off so Good idea to leave them on overnight. Okay, so now we can hang the 
material up. Hey, that looks pretty sweet. So I've just tacked on a few of those just by pushing them through the material. It's, it's nice that it's warm out. It goes through pretty easy. What they, they said also is you don't want to, this is a non-elastic fabric, so you don't want to stretch it to put it on each because what will happen is it will build tension and it will be pulling on the, the stud there so you want to just make sure it lays lays nice and flat between each one when you press them on there. You can pull them off and readjust for any wrinkles once you got to, you might have to pull that corner off and get rid of that one wrinkle. So I'll continue on kind of get it all nice and laid in there flat Looking pretty cool, though I can't see inside. Finished. Yeah, it looks pretty good from the outside. So I just added those little uh, buttons on. They just push on. There's a little lever on the side, so if you push in, you can pop them off too, really easily. So let's go inside and see what we got. I got Beagle. Oh. Here we go. Okay. Well, you definitely know there's a screen there, but it lets quite a bit of light. I can definitely see what's going on out there. Just sit down at the old computer. Okay. Well, it's a lot better than full sunshine. I could definitely work in here. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't want to do the, the review right now. I'm going to come back and say around two weeks we'll use it here. Use it in different conditions, see what happens when the wind really blows. See how it is day to night, early morning, angles of the sun. See what Ann thinks of it. See if it has the wife approved factor. <laughs> then I'll come back with the full review. But so far it's definitely better than uh, blocking it out with that... Uh, metal foil in the afternoon. Cool. Well, until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Hope you're having a good summer of RVing. We're definitely enjoying ourselves. Happy trails, everyone. Cheers.